Hello everyone. Today, we're going to explore the incredible journey of a small yet nutrient-rich fruit, the blueberry. Did you know that blueberries have been around and utilized by people for thousands of years? Originating in North America, blueberries were a staple for the first indigenous tribes who incorporated them into their diets and used them as natural remedies. According to legends, indigenous people not only viewed blueberries as food, but also as a symbol of good fortune, using them in spiritual rituals to bring peace. However, it wasn't until the early 20th century that blueberries were cultivated commercially, thanks to Elizabeth White, a courageous and persistent woman from New Jersey, USA. Her efforts paved the way for us to enjoy the sweet, juicy blueberries we love today. Blueberries are now grown widely across the world and have become a cherished ingredient in many culinary cultures. Each year, global blueberry production reaches around 1.5 million tons. The United States is the world's leading producer with over 300,000 tons, accounting for 25% of the global supply. States like Michigan, Oregon, Washington, and New Jersey are the primary blueberry-producing regions. Canada is also a significant producer, yielding around 160,000 tons or about 12% of the global total, concentrated primarily in British Columbia, which makes up approximately 90% of Canada's blueberry production. Chile and Peru are the two largest producers in the Southern Hemisphere, and their blueberry production continues to grow due to high-quality varieties and favorable climate conditions. In 2022, Chile and Peru produced more than 280,000 tons, mainly exported to North America, Europe, and Asia. In Europe, blueberries are widely cultivated in countries like Poland, Germany, and Spain. Poland is currently Europe's largest producer, with an annual yield of about 30,000 tons. China and Mexico are also emerging as major blueberry producers. Have you ever wondered how to grow and care for this precious fruit? Let's dive into the next section to find out. Growing blueberries isn't easy, as they require specific climate and soil conditions. Blueberries thrive in cool climates and soil that is slightly acidic and well-drained. The first step in growing blueberries is to prepare raised beds, which are elevated by about 15 to 20 centimeters to prevent waterlogging in the roots. The most crucial factor is the soil pH which needs to be maintained between 4.5 and 5.5 for optimal growth. If the soil is too alkaline, it will hinder growth, while overly acidic soil can lead to toxicity. Before planting, farmers often enrich the soil with organic fertilizers to create a nutritious foundation for the plants. Blueberries can be grown from cuttings or from pre-cultivated seedlings, usually planted in early spring or late fall. Plants need ample spacing, around 1 to 1.5 meters apart, to ensure room for growth. 
After planting, farmers often cover the soil with organic matter like dry leaves or straw to help retain moisture and suppress weeds. This process requires patience, as blueberries typically bear fruit only after three to four years of growth. Growing is challenging, but caring for them is even more demanding. Let's move on to learn the secrets of nurturing this picky plant. Caring for blueberries requires strict adherence to watering and fertilization guidelines. Blueberries need about 20 to 30 liters of water per week during the growing season to ensure high quality fruit, especially during flowering and fruiting. Insufficient water can lead to dry, less juicy berries, while excess water risks root damage. Farmers typically water blueberries lightly in the morning to maximize absorption. An interesting aspect of blueberry care is fertilization. Blueberries are sensitive to the type of fertilizer used. Organic fertilizers or acid-loving plant fertilizers like ammonium sulfate are recommended at about 30 grams per plant annually to maintain the necessary soil acidity. Every year, farmers fertilize sparingly in early spring and midsummer to encourage steady growth. Pruning is also vital for blueberry care. Weak, older branches are pruned annually to stimulate the growth of new shoots. Healthy branches will yield large, sweet clusters of berries in the next season. According to a study at the University of Michigan, unpruned blueberry plants produce up to 30% fewer berries than properly pruned ones. When harvest time arrives, blueberries sparkle on the branches, awaiting collection. After extensive care, it's finally time to harvest blueberries. Typically, the blueberry harvest season spans from June to August when the weather is warmest. At this point, the berries turn deep blue or purple, and a light shake of the branch will cause ripe berries to fall easily, a sign that they're ready for harvest. Blueberries can be harvested by hand or machine. Hand picking is the traditional method with farmers gently plucking clusters to avoid bruising. In large farms, however, machines are often used to save time. These machines vibrate the branches causing berries to fall into trays below, where they are sorted and transported to processing facilities. Once harvested, blueberries are brought to processing facilities in large baskets, carefully placed on conveyors to start the processing journey. The conveyor system ensures a smooth flow through each production stage. As blueberries travel along the conveyor, they undergo a washing phase a crucial step in the process. Here, they are vibrated and sorted to separate underripe or damaged berries from the ripe ones. Modern AI scanning machines are used for further sorting. The conveyor splits into multiple smaller branches, 
each carrying a berry through advanced scanning machines. Companies use artificial intelligence, computer vision, and machine learning to analyze images of the blueberries and gather valuable information. These machines detect ripeness, size, color, shape, and flaws like bruises, cracks, mold, insects, or foreign objects. Using AI scanners increases the efficiency and accuracy of sorting, processing thousands of berries per minute and reducing human error. A final human inspection serves as the last sorting step, where berries are carefully examined to detect any remaining defects or foreign objects that the AI scanners may have missed. After this, blueberries are ready for packaging. Advanced machinery automatically fills packages, ensuring precision and efficiency. Labeling is also automated, clearly marking essential information like weight, berry type, and other details. A significant portion of packaged blueberries goes to fresh fruit markets including grocery stores, supermarkets, farmers markets, and other retail outlets to meet consumer demand for high-quality fresh blueberries. Meanwhile, some packaged blueberries are sent to processing plants for frozen blueberry production. The freezing process takes place in freezing chambers at very low temperatures, usually below minus 18 degrees Celsius with high-velocity airflow, known as IQF, individually quick freezing. This method rapidly freezes water inside the berries into small ice crystals, preserving the cell structure. This method not only extends shelf life, but also retains the berry's flavor and nutrients. Blueberries are not only consumed fresh, but are also processed into many delightful products like jams, juices, and dried blueberries. Processing adds value to blueberries, offering consumers a wide range of choices. Blueberry juice is currently the most popular processed blueberry product, with an estimated global revenue of over $1 billion annually. We hope this story has given you an insightful look into the world of blueberries from their history to cultivation, care, harvest, and distribution journey. Take a moment to enjoy this wonderful fruit and think of the farmers who worked hard to bring blueberries to our tables. Thank you for listening.